Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool, and this is the Weeha Universal Tool Pouch. We'll get into it in a sec, but you might be wondering, what does Weeha know about tool pouches that, say, Maxpedition doesn't, or Hello Kitty doesn't, um, or Yeti doesn't? Um, well, I got a Weeha little tool roll here uh, a while ago, but I wasn't impressed because all the slots were really small and you know, it was pointed out to me that perhaps this is for something other than what I had intended. It does make a good commemorative pen roll, so it wins there. But let's take a closer look at this guy. First of all, it's a solid Cordura design with dual zippers, and these zippers are YKK zippers. This sells for about 29 bucks on Amazon, which is right in there for a lot of the Maxpedition ones as well. But I actually like some of the features on this Weeha better than um, the traditional Maxpedition lineup of these elastic bands. Let me show you. So first of all, when I crack this open, it just so happens that it's the right size for a bunch of tools, including the, uh, the snap-on LN 46 ACF, which has got to be the plier that we have everywhere. It'll hold a full-size set of 180 Knipex plier wrenches, full-size, 180 is full-size. I've got a big Vera screwdriver in here with bit storage. Turns out I uh, uh, one of my viewers pointed out that Snap-on actually sells a... Um, screwdriver in this very same form factor that's made in the Czech Republic but doesn't have the bit storage. I actually looked into getting one. I was trying to figure out what would you know the snap-on magic be in this particular form factor and turns out uh, I couldn't figure it out so I didn't get it and then I found out it's probably made by the Vera Tool Company. Um, but anyway so here's the the pliers the 46s fit just fine in there um, on this side. I just threw in some things to compare um, the way that uh, the different elasticity grid pieces hold things. So I've got some, I've got a small snap on adjustable wrench, some um, a Koken uh, ratchet here, it easily slides in uh, with some flip sockets. A couple of other things over here, just some small like the Vera Jokers snap-on pry bar. Now let's take a closer look at the grid system. What it is is just a crosshatch of elastic in contrasting colors. So we've got the gray and we've got the black. And then this allows you basically to put anything in any slot any way that it'll fit. Um, it is running in right angles so you can't diagonalize things. However, you know, some of the stuff fits in just fine diagonal. Um, and that could be laid out on top. Um, once you have something in here, um, since it does pull against the edges, uh, you know, like if I stretch this one out, it does make these tighter, so you can use that to your, um, your advantage. I wish it did have something in here. You notice um, a lot of the Maxpedition, um, they do have a, a, some sort of capture in the seam. Um, because there is actually room here for something if you wanted to put it in there, even something fairly large, uh, if I wanted to throw that in there. Um, this is just the tag that says, as you can read, made in Vietnam. Vietnam's doing very well as a textile um, assembly place right now. But anyway, it would be nice if, it, if I could slide something in because it does close around. But anyway... Overall, it's a traditional grid system. You have been able to buy grids like this, elastic grids, um, that fit into other kind of tool slots. Uh, I think there's even one available for um, the uh, Vito Pro Pack series. And then there are grids designed for computer bags. So when you have something like this, you can either fully anchor something, you know, if I wanted to run this down both sides, um, say for instance like this, I could anchor it. I'm interested in this, you know, in designing some minimalist toolkits. So that's in there pretty solid. Um, of course, I could just run it in one and then I can move stuff around, easily flip it, but it's also contained, so it's not gonna go flying out. Um, smaller stuff, ratchets, etc., just fit great in these. Um, and if you've got some, you know, room to, to maneuver, you can actually fit them up, you know, 
I mean, we'll slide this in here, you know, up really high, and then it barely takes up any space. I like that better than the Maxpeditions because the Maxpeditions, you've got, I mean, I have four total slots here and these great big ones, and not a lot of stuff fits in the great big one and stays secure. Once these are in, you know, it's in the center, it really kind of occupies too much space. And then something like this doesn't fit in here, it's too wide, and you know, I don't know what you put in here. It looks like more first aid stuff. Um, I do like the little zipper pouches. It'd be nice if that was added maybe to the outside just to have a little bit um, of additional stuff tied here. But for the price, um, I, it's got a good feel to it because of all of the, the cross-hatched um, elastic banding. It does have some thickness to it, so there is some substance to this. Um, you can see it's got double bar tacked. Uh, this would hold quite a bit of weight, double bar, bar tack stra um, strap there. And then of course, you know, I like the two-way zippers, that's important. I've learned that with Max Pollution. Um, to be able to open it up top or bottom, sometimes you don't want to spill things out. The depth on this is pretty good. I mean, it's kind of surprising. This seems really thick on the Maxpedition, but as you saw, I could easily drop in, you know, things on top of things on top of things. Put a couple of pairs of those in, maybe throw that in. I mean, there's a lot of space there, and it has no trouble, um, no trouble closing up. So... Anyway, there it is, if you're interested in it. Um, I put a link below uh, so you can see it on Amazon. Uh, decent price for um, a good solid small tool pouch. So I'm looking forward to building out a minimalist tool kit um, using this. Another area you can use it is if you want to build out a um, uh, kind of a road warrior computer bag, you know, with your different uh, attachments for, um, all your peripherals and digital devices. I used this one on my overseas trip. This is actually a Maxpedition. It's kind of a lightweight, designed as a first aid kit, um, but it worked great. I'm gonna look into moving into something like this. However, a lot of times I just wanna throw a wad of wire into a little slot. But people do use them, um, you know, for uh, the Road Warrior kits and appliances to keep their electronics humming. Um, whoops, you can slide stuff behind, but, you know, if you wanted to, goodness, get in there, you know, attach stuff, you could do it. Overall, I like it. I would buy it again. It's a solid little, little unit, um, and I wish Weha made more options, because I think they're, they're onto something here that Maxpedition could learn some lessons from. Anyway, there it is, the Weha Universal Tool Pouch, and with that, Doc out.